good. <laughs> Bago mang good, mong hindi to quality. And we finally found a full HD camera. This is the first one we found. And it was for a good price. Only $8.5 in cash and very good deal. I'm never going to buy any camera except the ISIS and one of the newer models because we've tested so many others and they just didn't make us happy. And now we're going to meet Christian, Amber, and Alex. And here they are. <laughs> they bought one of those stick things. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, he's using the GoPro. That's his preference. Hello, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is Aryan's first time meeting her. So we had a good conversation. I was talking to Christian and Pepo was talking to Amber. Did you have a good time? Yeah, yes. but guys, the Christian Bautista just Christian our now. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys watching? Got you. Hang! <laughs> you know, we're Jojo's. gonna go home. We're gonna go home. We're gonna go home now. Bye-bye. And they have a new train here in SM City Yeah, Thomas the train. <laughs> it's a new train. Looks a lot different. It's not the same. <laughs> and I'm actually very surprised at how similar Christian is. It's kind of shocking actually. Um, he's a lot similar to me. He likes business. He's business minded. But he has more experience in business than me. But it, it's very interesting because people that watch our videos, a lot of times they seem almost just like us or at least with similar lifestyles, similar interests. Um, so that's one of the great things about meeting people online. And we're searching for a gift, not for Jake, but for Renz. It's Renzo's birthday. Wow, and for 230 pesos, you could buy an Abercrombie and Fitch shirt for kids. <laughs> Some of them might get something for Jake too, just so he could have a nice shirt. Um, we buy him school clothes, um, not very often, but I think enough. <laughs> Trying to find the perfect one. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking. I think they have sets for more affordable prices. And actually, I kind of noticed maybe we need to stock up with like, on some clothes for Jake. Maybe next month we'll buy him more. Because I think we actually need to, I think we're due for new clothes for Jake. And Jake is always trying to help out. Fema's the one that's been shopping for him, but um, he's trying to find ones that are affordable. Yeah. When we uh, pack groceries, when, when we're giving the groceries to the counter lady or the register, he's always trying to sort them out and um, he always wants to do a good job. It's so much. Yeah, it's expensive. And it looks like that's one of Jake's new outfits. He's got a red no, shirt and that. Oh, it's red? How come that's so big? Because it's like three or four and a half pounds. Or better yet, these are 200 pesos or about $5 for those jeans. Non branded. And the quality of these jeans, they feel decent. I mean, um, they're not super thick, but then again, they're not super thin. It's not what they call nippies or something like that. What's it, my dear? Nippies, that's what they call it when it's bad? Yeah. And colorful shorts and colorful pants is popular in the Philippines, but especially among celebrities. I don't know if everybody wears that, but if you notice, a lot of the celebrities do. Still searching. And there's no hole for the pants, but that's Jake's outfit. <laughs> it's a skinny. Walk, Jake. Laka, laka. Nice, <laughs> No. 
Okay. He looks clean. <laughs> Side view. Side view. You look cute. You look cute. Mm -hmm. And I think all of this right here, these outfits, is not very clean right now because I got them from over the top of that. But um, yeah, I think it's about 1,000 pesos, maybe 20 bucks for all of this. Not too pricey. And it's flooded in the streets over here. This is the road leading the It's very flooded here. You can't see it, but it's full of water in the street. Especially on the right side where we are. Oh, I think it's good. There's a big uh, ditch over there in the road. Hi everyone, so we finally got a new camera. This is the Canon Exos or ISIS 265HS um, if you're wondering and if you want to buy um, the same camera as ours. Um, this has 12 times optical zoom and it has Wi-Fi in it. We haven't tried the Wi-Fi yet but we're excited to try it, um, especially me. So meaning, um, you can use this um, uh, to do some selfies and connect it to your Facebook or Instagram. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I hope um, I hope this is nice. Um, so far, the the focus the focusing is is good. Um, we bought it for eight thousand five hundred, um, including the of course the accessories and um, the free screen protector so yeah we love it so far and um, we haven't seen it yet in our computer but we're gonna edit the vlog and hopefully it will turn out good and now that we got back um, we're gonna eat we're gonna just um, have a good night but before that I want to show you guys the detailed urban zoning map of Davao City and this right here is a map that I'm talking about it's called the detailed zoning map of Davao City and it's valid from 1996 to 2021 now um, this is the stuff that I'm most interested in um, because for a lot of people especially us but even people who have more money than us um, this area right here might be really expensive because there's a lot of development and all the commercial areas are already made over there so land prices are very expensive. But here, right here, this is the Mintal area. And if you notice this red right here, you can see over here, it's major commercial zone. And the only other red area over here is a main part. And I think this is close to Lanco, um, but definitely a lot of commercial areas over here. So the fact that over here in Mintal, where there's really not a lot of development, there's a lot of empty land, um, the fact that they have this planned to eventually be a major commercial area means that it might be a good investment if the economy doesn't keep going if the economy crashes kind of like what happened in the Asian financial crisis or what happened to the US then maybe this will never turn into a commercial area but if the economy keeps going if we get a good president after a keynote in 2016 and this actually gets built a lot of the property values are going to increase even Deca homes over here which is a low-end property um, it's a low-end subdivision, but the prices will probably increase. And down over here, um, Toril, I was surprised because I thought there's a lot of commercial areas over here. But it's actually more on tourism. This big block over here, it's a huge block of land. It's slated for tourism. I'm not really sure what they have going on here. But one of the things is they have a $300 million Japanese retirement center that's going to be there. But I don't think it's going to take all of that land. So maybe for people that are willing to risk it and they want a long-term investment, maybe you could build a hotel over here. I'm not really sure. Um, but maybe apartments and uh, condominiums, if this turns out to happen, maybe that's a better investment. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert. I only have small investments like the one in our house. Um, but for people that are looking at investing in real estate and even business, this is definitely a thing that you need to look at. Um, you can find it on the devoutcity.gov.ph website, and um, you could, it's in the downloads. So uh, definitely look at this. It could help you plan, um, help you get make good real estate investments, and also help you decide where you want to open a business. That's it for today's vlog, and I hope that this camera is good. We're going to check it out right now. Um, should be better than the last one, especially since there's a lot of wear and tear. Um, so let's see. Um, good luck to us and uh, see you next time. Would you recommend Davao City that people travel to Davao City? Absolutely. <laughs> it depends what you're looking for, but uh, if you want a tourist, a tourist experience,